The first night, Taylor had seven, and Jordan, of course, in the head coach for the uh, Taylorsville Warriors is Brad Mullen in his second year as the head coach at Taylorsville, taking them to the state championship game with Brad. Not because of injury, like uh, for touchdowns since the uh, semifinal game. He hasn't run a punt back for touchdowns since the quarterfinal playoff game. He's a dangerous return guy. They should not kick him the ball. He's on the near side. They should kick him to the far side. Mitchell ready and waiting for the official signal to get going. And the run up to kick in. We're ready to go. Kind of a ground ball up the middle. Angling to the far side. Fielded by an up in at the 30. Across the 35. And out to the 37 yard line. On the return for Skyline was Jake Jensen, a 190 pound doll. A potential all stater the other guy. Levi Neckley is the center. Brian Hersher, the tight end. On first down and 10. Van Lowe in the turn. And again to Chris Thompson. Out across the 40. Left side of the 45. And out to the 46 yard line. Before being crept up. Can't be a comfortable feeling out in the open like that. 
Richard Davis split out wide to the left on first down and ten. The turn and the give off the left side to Surston. Surston's fighting his way forward for a couple of yards out to the 49-yard line. 60 consecutive games. Last time they were shut out, state quarterfinals, 1986. Brighton beat them 47 to nothing. Double leg with a receiver out to the left on the first down. Back to pass as Van Lewis looks towards the left sideline. The ball is caught by Richard Davis out near the 45-yard line of Taylorsville. And is finally forced out of bounds there. He was reaching for Double tight end now for Skyline with a wishbone backfield. Van Lewin up under center, awaiting the snap from Levi Nagley. He takes it, fakes to the fullback, rolls to the right, finds an opening, gets the first down. Now pitches late to Simpsons down the right sideline. 35-30 and first out of bounds inside the 30 at the 29-yard line. Right there was about a 15, 17-yard run there to pick up another first down. Nick Kemp split out wide to the left on first down and 10 at the 29-yard line of Taylorsville. Van Lewin with the give off the left side. Here's Matt Cannon carrying the ball. Bradley Marker's down as he spun down to the 23-yard field goal from here. <coughs> Morgan Horn split out wide to the right this time. Kemp in a slot formation to the left with Matt Cannon who comes back in motion to the right. The fake the handoff to Cannon. And now they do give it to Cannon around the right side 30 and down to the 25 yard line. So they get the penalty yardage back and then some. So despite the penalty, they're looking at second and seven. Double slot formation. The only man on the backfield of the fullback, Brad Jensen, behind the quarterback, Van Lewin. Now Houston's on the slot right, comes back in motion, takes the hand up, turns it back upfield, 25 20, slips the tackle to the 15 to the 10 to the 5, touchdown! Rob Searstons escaped one hit of the Again, it was great blocking. He was probably 8, 10 yards downfield before he got hit. He sheds the one tackler. One missed tackle, you give up a touchdown. Now Adam Reiser, 44 of 54 at PATs, out to kick the extra point. The hold is down. The kick is up, and it is good.
now with it back at the ice, they're going to send a second man, Andy Swanson, back to receive the punt along with Matt Barkley. Now some confusion as far as players are concerned for Skyline as uh, the Eagles, Troy Maxfield, started to go off the field and now is back on. Snap, it's a good one. Naga he steps up, puts his foot into it, spiraling kick field in a fair catch call for and made by Andy Swanson. And it's out 43 passing on the year for 129 yards. Trips to the right this time on first down and ten at the 14-yard line. Marietta now motioning Felipe in motion out wide to the left, nobody in the backfield behind the quarterback who steps up now, tries to step up and now is dropped. By Quinn Longer is coming in. Harris, who you just mentioned, 6'5", 356. And the other tackle, Chris Bateman, 6'2", 324. Were they that big when we were in high school? No. That's what I thought. On second down now and at 15. In motion from right to left, and now we've got movement from the... Unless things turn around, that could be the highlight of the day. On second down and 19. And taking the snap, Marietta, the give to Felipe, cuts inside a block at the three, gets out to the four, gets swarmed over by a host of 20, along with David James, Steve Cloudy here, the Class 5A championship game, all skyline right now. It's run the final 10 seconds to play in the first quarter. Marietta at quarterback takes the snap and gives to the fullback, Shane Christensen, out across the five to the nine yard line. in for his third punt already on the game. He is standing in his own end zone. Scotland setting up the return. Target E. Van Loon standing at the Taylorsville 45. Twitchell's kick is spiraling short kick field by Van Loon at the 44. Escapes one hit but not the second. And he is trapped for no game on the second touchdown. <coughs> left and right with the fullback Brad Jets and the lone man in the backfield on first down and at 10. Matt Cannon, the right slot, comes back in motion to left and takes the handoff from Van Lewis, tries to turn the corner, gets a block, gets out to the 45, and is forced out of bounds to the 46-yard line. So second down and at 5 at the 46-yard line. Richard Davis split out wide to the left this time. Nick Kemp is out to the right. Van Lewis rolling right, has a pitch man, keeps it himself out across the 50, slips through one tackle and dives forward inside the 45 to the 43 yard line. And then wide to the left this time. Wishbone backfield behind Van Lewis. Waiting for the snap, gets it. And fakes to the fullback, going deep down the left side. He's looking for Davis, who can't make the one handed grab. It's incomplete. Split out the wide to the right. Kemp is out to the left. Christopherson in motion from right to left. And the left face to the, or gets to the fullback right. There it is. Brad Jets on the carry of the middle. Fights forward to the left this time. Davis out the wide to the right. Double wing with Jets in the long man of the backfield. And low and waiting for the snap. Now Kirsten, uh, the man in motion is to uh, Kirsten. Now the ball popped in the air. All the bounces right back into the arms of Van Lowe as he gets knocked down. Back in the 46 yard. Now Fortune Collins on the third and fourth skyline possession. Aguita punt taking the snap back at his own 40. Matt Barclay back in a single safety formation back at his own 10 yard line for Taylorsville. The Aguita's kick side winding its way, hitting at the 11, bounces in the air to the 6, rolls inside the 5, and is going to get down at the 1 yard line. 943 remaining in the second quarter. Skyline leading 15 to nothing. Great time to just wear back and throw the big one. Power eye, strong right is the formation, a double tight end, and the give is to the deep back, that's Derek Bond, and he fights his way forward for a couple, getting outside the shadow of the end. That's a lot of high school kids. <laughs> Not a lot of high school coaches want to throw it out of there on end zone. No. And I can't believe it. Marietta, the quarterback right now. Let's see what he does. Power eye this time, strong left with a double tight end formation. And Marietta again gives to the deep back, and a little bit of room for Ryan Filippi out across the five line. Yeah. Now, Derek Bond in the fullback. The extra running back back there is Mike Felipe. 
Marvel tight end, a turn of the give to Vaughn, and he gets to it, tries to dive forward underneath the stack, gets out to the 10 yard line, but it's going to be shot. He's back in the ball game, just about a step inside of the end zone to receive the snap. So Twitchell gets a good Bill High snap, it's a line drive, spirally kicked towards Van Lewin, who dropped the ball at the 45 yard line, pops in the air, it's picked off! I knew that was coming back. Jared Frazier is it split out wide to the right on first down. Derek Bond wide to the left comes back in motion to the right. And they fake the game to Filippi rolling to his right. Gage Schneider looking to throw down the left sideline. Has Filippi in and out of his hands at the 23 yard line, 39 yard line. Ryan Filippi split out wide to the right. He'll come back in motion towards the left. And the give is to Bond around the right side. And he gets hard tied and dropped down with the nose. Jeff Zoklo was in slot formation to the right. Andy Swanson is the wide man. Ryan Filippi is the inside man. With Garrett Frazier split out wide to the left. And Schneider back to pass, dropping up now. Fires toward the right side, incomplete. Well behind the intended. Oh, Naga, he back in uh, single safety formation inside his own 10 yard line. Now Twitchell rolling right now. We'll try to angle it to the right side, and it hits just inside the 20 yard line. It goes out of bounds right there. And Kemp split out the line to the right. Here's going backfield, tight end Hersher on the right side. And Van Lewin on the give of the fullback. Jensen, he gets stood up at the line of scrimmage. He gets shut back by the Warrior defense. No running room. Second down and a 10 for Skyline at their own 20 yard line. Again, the fullback Jensen drops the football, and I believe Taylor Bill's on top of it. They are up to the, at the 39 yard line. Couldn't pick up a first down. Now they're down at the 27, first and 10. They really need to put this in the end zone. Brandon Schneider up under center on first and 10. Receivers left and right. Bond and Christian set of the running backs. Filippi out wide to the right, comes back in motion to the left. And it's Schneider rolling to his left, stepping up, getting hit as he throws, gets the ball away, and it's incomplete, intended for the tight end, Dave Sutton. Olympus, Layton, and Orem in the first round of the playoffs. Three other games they held opponents to seven points or less, and they're doing a good job right now. Slot formation to the left on second down. The kid is to the fullback, roll off the right side, Christian's at 20, 15, 10, and finally wrapped up the front number one. By ball the tackle of the eight. Doggy speed out there on the corner. It's incredible. First and goal at the nine. Receivers left and right. The man wide to the right. Ryan Filippi back in motion to the left. They uh, give, uh, pick their give it up the middle. Christensen on the end zone. Touchdown. Shane Christensen. Straight up the gut. So did Roger Dupre know something looking at the phone that no one else assumed when he went for two on that first one? And now the game's tied up a little bit. Now Taylorsville going for two. Power eye, strong right. Brandon Schneider up under center, turns the give is to Filippi off the right side, and he doesn't come close to the end zone. Oh, that takes a look. Doubleheader football. We got a jazz game tonight, right? That's right. It's over on the, our sister station, 1320 K fans, 6 o'clock tip on from the Target Center. Kevin Garnett and the Timberwolves playing host to the Jazz. Check out Steve on the post game show. <laughs> Here's the run and kick a ground ball up the middle, fielded and uh, on the hop by one of the up backs. That is Steve Tate. He'll get out across the 35 yard line. 25. A way through the Eagles have been their own worst enemy, putting the ball on the ground. First down and 10 from their own 37 yard line. And as Van Lewin on the roll, right keeps it himself, cuts up field, 40, finds a hole, 50, 45, 40, down the right sideline, and finally out of bounds. And Lewin made a play on it, and Skyline's already dropped it four times, so why not? 30 yard pickup on the play, Van Lewin gives off the left side to Rob Searton, he's out across the 30 yard line, down to the 27 yard line, so a pick and hand at five. Nick Kemp split out the line to the left this time. The tight end Hersher lined up on the right side, and the Give is to Matt Cannon, trying to turn the corner on the left side of the 25. And brought down with a hard hit by Ryan Filippi at the 24-yard line. Else with Morgan Horn out wide to the right. Van Lewitt gives to Chris Thompson, spins off a hit in the backfield, fights forward, but I don't think he got the first down. Knifing through from his...
his linebacker position, the only, but they want to answer the touchdown with a touchdown. Double tight end formation, wishbone behind the quarterback, Van Lewin. The third and roll, and that cuts it upfield. 23 3 the 15 10 5 touchdown. Brandon Van Lewin last week in double overtime against Hunter. Hunter had 17 at the end of regulation. Skyline put 21 points on the board, but still have three minutes left in the first half. Took the only two minutes and 23 seconds out of the possession. Riser's extra point is a touchdown before the end of the half. Vincent Skyline's now scored in 160 straight games, 22 points here in the first half. The next longest streak all time, right now, 123. So this streak is almost 33% longer. The next longest current streak, Grantsville, 94 games in a row. And this is number 160 in a row. Skyline scored it. Brighton shut him out in the playoff game in 86. By Riser, end over end, gonna be fielded at Rai Felipe at the 10. The 15 fakes the reverse, keeps it himself to the 20, 25, out across the 30, 35 yard line before he is finally run down on the play. Down and a 10. Does split Derek Bond out wide to the left. Garrett Frazier is to the right. Felipe and Christensen are the running backs on first and 10. Schneider on the get, now the inside reverse to Derek Bond coming in motion to return skyline. They have two timeouts at 2.44, so really, they don't have to push it too much here. They've got time to get down the field and get in the end zone for a half. Frazier wide left, Felipe wide right on first down and 10. Felipe back in motion to the right. We've got uh, penalty markers flying. You against Hunter. Until they got their backs up against the wall, they threw the ball down the field in the last two minutes. It'll be interesting to see that they cut loose late here in the half. Slot formation to the right on first and 15, and Schneider back to pass, rolling to his left, now looking left, throwing left, and incomplete as he overthrew his intended time drive last week, caught three of the six passes, and uh, made it a couple nice grabs. Both a couple of running outs, and then over the middle as well, with a big one uh, splitting the defense down the seam. Slot to the right, a wing right as well as Derek Bond on the second down, and Schneider back to pass, wanting to set up the screen middle, pass is caught, and out near midfield, maybe he the run. Frazier out wide to the left, split wide to the right is Swanson with Mike Philippe in the slot to the right. On third down and 15, Schneider comes straight back this time, rolling to his right, now under pressure, now gets wrapped up and brought down from behind. Back he is yet to field a punt in this game as uh, Twitzel's done a good job of kicking the ball away from the dangerous return man who has five returns for a touchdown this year, four punts and one kickoff. Mitchell Rush gets it away. Line drives it to the 25-yard line where Nagy makes the fair. But they've been so successful just running the ball right at Taylor's mouth. Van Lewin drops back quick out to the left side. Nagy makes the catch to the 25, dances a little bit, now gets forced to the bounds. Yeah, because they broke one of them and uh, turned it into their second touchdown. But they've just been hitting them and driving them to the sideline when they can. Here's the pitch left side. Chris Thomas hit, bounces up and dives forward up the hit out across the 30 to the 33. Out wide to the right, Nagahi wide left. On the third down, drop back Van Lewin on the slant pattern. It is in and out of the hands of the fourth and two. Matt Barkley back inside his 30 yard line to receive the punt. But Nagy, he gets it, kicks it away, line drive, end over end, takes a skyline bounce, it's picked up by Barclay at the 25, out across the 30 to the 33-yard line, and that's where he's going to send three receivers out wide to the right, one man in the backfield behind the quarterback, Maria, for blocking protection. Nope, now he's back in motion to the left, and is angling forward, but uh, the penalty marker is going to be thrown, Maria, down the middle, it's picked off, intercepted by Steve Tate, he's to the 40, down the right side, 35, Steve, when it was 15 nothing, and Taylorsville was unable to hold a couple of passes, they could have gone either way. You said if they're going to win this, they're going to have to make all the big plays, all the spectacular plays. 1914. So uh, not an unusual play when you get that extra yard and a half. Double tied in with a wishbone behind the quarterback, Van Lewin. Van Lewin rolling left, cuts it back into the end zone. Touchdown! Oh, actually, two-point conversion. As the score to a playoffs is a 118. Opening kickoff of the second half, fielded by up, one of the up men about the 15-yard line of the 20, got across the 20 to the 25-yard line for Taylorsville, and the two safeties go with it. Slot formation to the right on first down and 10. 
Marietta up under center, waiting for the stamp, takes it, makes the pitch to Felipe, bounces it off his shoulder pad, Felipe recovers, now loses the football, and Skyline, I believe, is on top of it, they had it, then lost it, the scramble is on, the Skyline Eagles say they have it, and they do! Brandon Van Lui leading the offense to the line of scrimmage. And the give is to the man in motion around the left side, that's Matt Cannon, he gets dropped at the 10-yard line, nice open field. They will split. Nick Kemp out wide to the left on uh, the play. And the give is off the left side to Rob Searson the halfback. And he'll power his way four and wide to the right. And the give up the middle of the fullback touchdown for the lead Evermore. This shows you how important turnovers are in this game. When Skyline made the first four fumbles of this game and lost two of them, Taylorville was in it at 15-6. Wiser for the extra point, and he drills it. Two turnovers belong to Taylorsville, and suddenly it's the touchdown run by Christensen for Taylorsville brought them to within nine. Playoff game. This has been a heck of an accomplishment for them to tie for the region title and then to get to the state finals. It's been a good year for football on the left side. Three of the four semifinals coming from region two, but Skyline, the class of the final four. Kickoff just outside the goal line, picked up by Felipe. Face the reverse, he's across the 20, but touches the tackle to 30, down the sideline, 35 40. He needs one more block and make it. Down the sideline of the 30, 25 20, one man can catch it, 10 5, touchdown! 99 yard return by Ryan Felipe for a touchdown on the hard note. Slot formation to the left. With Frazier and Felipe, Swanson split out to the right. Stepping up and gets dropped for a loss. Back to the nine-yard kickoff return by Ryan Felipe, making it a 37-12 skyline lead. He's currently lined up over on the left side, back at about the 10-yard line. Lane Twitchell will tee it up at the 40-yard line. Jensen, the lone man on the backfield, and Van Lewis rolling to his left, 
looking downfield, now tucks it under and runs to the 25, out to the 30, and trapped there by the outside linebacker, Kellen Carsey, who's been busy on the defensive end. This guy will be good again next year. I don't know if he'll be this good. This is awfully good, but they ought to be good again. Jackson Cannon out wide to the right. Bentley markers fly, and the whistles will blow a period of time. Obviously, most of the elite teams never end up playing each other. There are a few games that are arranged nationally where elite teams meet each other, but you think the college folks would guess me. And low on the pitch in the end around the Nagy, trying to turn the corner. He can't. He's filled by Felipe across the 40 yard line. The play game. Or from their own 40 yard line.
Orem from the south, Brighton from the east side of the valley. Here to the full back up the middle, Christensen may have squeezed a yard or two. These guys are just kids. Major to the left, Brian Felipe to the right on the second down. And the give is to Christensen up the middle again, bounces off one hit, then gets leveled on the play by a great incredible winning percentage. Playing everybody. I thought he had turned the corner 
he opened up the uh, first game at the Dallas Center with four out of his first five, and then uh, went downhill from there. And the ground ball up the middle, fielded by one of the up men, and that was Adam Baxter with just a kick. Oh, it's your turn. No, it, it's your turn. And that was we we was, we lined up for him. On first down, the inside handoff from the halfback goes to the score. Across the 40, 45, slips as he tried to make a cut, but picks kids. We're apparently as you play on it, you get used to it. But does it mean teams come in have problems? Not to start out there. Ah. Burrows is headed down and they can score. For high schools and colleges, it's a different situation. Second down and three. Center, Felipe back in motion to the right, the turn, and the give is to Derek Bond. Rides a, 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 a path. Eagle, 